we, uh, we set it in front of us on a towel with the white to the left hand. We've got two screws here and same two on the other end. We'll take those out first. And lay them aside to take off our end caps. All right, you can pause it. Okay, be careful when you take off be careful when you take off this last screw so that they don't pop off and you lose your cylinder, which is the green the green roller. Because if that gets scratched, the whole thing's ruined. Okay. So now the end caps are loose. Hold it in the center. Pop off one side and lay it. Grab in the center with your left hand, pop off the right hand side, and lay it up here. Now you have to be very careful in taking this apart. This is where you can scratch the roller. So you want to lay your fingers on the end of here and roll it away, like that. Now roll this side back. And this is the part we've got to clean. So we have to take out these two screws without uh, touching this part and, scra and scratching it. If it gets scratched, then it's ruined also. So we'll take out these two screws on each end. It does help to have a magnetic screwdriver. Keep those screws separate so you don't get them mixed up. When you put them back together, they're a different size. Take over the end, lean the top forward, and that way we won't put the sharp end against that blade, uh, against that roller, and take it out like that. Okay? Now, this toner is what we've got to clean off. So we'll get us a clean towel. Start in the center and rub out. Don't start on the ends and rub in because you don't want to catch it and bend these. So try to catch all that toner. Center and out. Clean off all that extra toner. Be careful because it's sharp as a razor blade. It will catch you. Center and out. Center and out. When you've got all the extra toner off, then get a clean piece and get it covered with acetone. Now with the acetone, you want to clean off this buildup. Can you see that buildup good? Mm -hmm. That's what's causing the lines on the, uh, the uh, roller. So we have to clean all that buildup off. Again, start at the center and move out with the acetone. And there's still some there. You've got to get all of that buildup off. And be careful not to bend this blade or to cut your hand. Okay, you can pause it a minute. Okay, now you see we have all of the buildup off of that blade. So now it should uh, go back on. And we be careful in trying to tilt it. Uh, see if we can zoom into that crack right there between the two rollers. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to be sure and tilt it inside that and not hit that little roller. So tilt it in. And there's two little knobs right on the end that these will sit back up on. Be smarter than the blade is. There we go. Okay. Zoom in on that little knob right there. Got it. Okay. So they'll just hang on that little knob. There's foam behind this, and that's what springs this forward. We set our screws aside. So now we'll get it back on our screwdriver. And we'll just start the screws on both sides, but don't tighten them until both sides are in. Then you tighten one side at a time. All right, now it's 
start your mouth on the side with the knob, press down, we want to press down and back. So it's springing back, hold it in position and tighten your screw. Just a light tight there, then we'll go to the other side, tighten it up, make it firm and fast, come back and make this one firm and fast. I'll back it off a little bit, loosen the tension, now let's make it firm and fast. All right, now, we want to roll this towards us. We roll it towards us, then we make sure that it's smooth. All the lines are gone now. We'll turn it upside down over the towel, make sure nothing leaks out. Roll it towards us and make sure there's no lines across here. So if there's no lines in, it's fixed it. Now here's the tedious part. We have to put this together so this spring matches with this little pyramid that's up on top of here, okay? And in doing so, we also can't lose the uh, roller. So I'm going to see if we can tape this or not. This is tedious. So we'll take and line up that spring. Try to push it straight down and not lose our cartridge and scratch it. Once that's kind of together, get in the center and work on your end cap. There's a little line up right into here and this goes right over there. If those don't line up, then you've just got to work it so it does. There's a little edge on here. It has to go between the roller and here. So you push that in. I don't know if you could see what I did. I kind of pushed down on that and slid that in. Now with that on, I'll hold it and get my screws into place. That's the hard part about this whole job, because you cannot touch at all that green roller. If you touch the green roller with your finger, you've ruined it. Other than right on these ends where the silver's at. If you touch it out in the middle, you have a fingerprint on every print you make from then on. Put these in but don't snug them up. I want to get the other end on first. Hello? How are you doing? Okay, now we'll get the other side before we tighten up. Grab and hold the center again. We'll do the same thing here. We line up our holes. <laughs> there we go. And then this will kind of See, I got it. See, that pops out just enough so that'll slide on there. Okay. Then put our screws in the other side. Once our screws are in both sides, then snug each side up. And we're done. Always watching the green rollers, never to touch it or have it touch anything. It can't touch the towel, it can't touch anything. And if you get any dust on it, it's ruined. All right, that's good.